You know, I'm really starting to think that this game hates me because the amount of times I've had to rebuild servers in the last two months. But guess what? We had to rebuild the public server again. So you know what? Today we are going to go on a tour of this new map. This is a UK based map, but it is absolutely beautiful. And uh, well, our farm is probably one of the prettiest locations that we've ever built so far. Of course, if you want to play on this map, then you need to not crash into the sidewall like I just did. Okay. If you want to play on this map, then you need to go to the server list and type in pickle jar public and you also need to type in the password which is elm creek with a capital e it is cross-platform and anybody can get on to play so feel free to hop on and have some fun for the record i'm on here almost every single night so chances are yes i will be on the server so to the left you guys will see one of our first fields it's absolutely massive with one of the biggest hills i've ever seen in farm sim i mean we're practically planting a mini mountain here uh, but that is going to be a massive cornfield. Off to the right, as you guys can see, is a gigantic, beautiful lake. There goes Fergus with the Kinsey Planter. It's actually, I don't think I've used the Kinsey Planter yet in this game. Believe it or not, that's, uh, that's kind of sad. Aside from hitting the wall to our entrance here, we are at the farm. So right off to the left is our greenhouses. And to the right is our grain storage. Figured that would make it real easy for the grain. Now, uh, I like to, when designing my farms, I like to put them through a test. And that test is what I call the grandma test. What would my grandma say? Now, I'm going to point out the very first issue. And that is that the greenhouses are right next to the slurry pit. And, uh, well, my grandma would probably say, I don't really want to throw my tomatoes right next to a pit full of <clears throat> so in order to fix that we added this uh wall here i'm hoping that helps out like a little bit but either way we have these greenhouses that are growing something different i don't remember what they're growing cucumbers peppers and onions hey if we get some uh if we get some brine we can make these into pickles that'd be nice then moving down the driveway we have well, it's a massive farm so to the right is our horse facility, but we're not going to focus on that yet. We're going to head to the left right here. We've got a big, beautiful barn with doors on all sides right in the middle of the farm. Right back here, we have our cattle barn. It's got a manure heap right on the left-hand side, and then we've got a drive down the right between the sheep pasture. Of course, in anywhere that I could fit it, I added some additional little sheds. This shed right here is absolutely massive, and I don't think we will ever fill all the shed space on this farm i mean it's ridiculous we've got drive through bale storage right here as we can see some bales are already in there coming back around towards where we just came from we've got another little shed we've got our silage bunkers right here right across the way we've got another tiny little shed for the horses apparently that's holding our feed mixer now moving down the back side of the sheep we've got a little bee place that's all i'm gonna call it i don't know what to to call it otherwise we've got our little bob baba sheep here and uh we've got another shed and that's about it really right over here we've got our horse pasture and it actually all happened to work out very well uh this large area here i didn't know what to do with turned out it was perfect for a horse track we just eyeballed the uh track we didn't measure it out or anything and it turns out that if as, by the time you get the horse and you get out of the pen right you go around this thing about three, four times, and you get back to the pen, you're at 100%. So we really couldn't have done it any better. But of course, that horse track has an amazing view of the lake as well as our house, which you'll see in just a moment. Moving down this way, we've got some storage tanks, and we've got a workshop. we got a large chicken... I don't know what to call it. Our house for chickens. And we also have some grown uh trees right through here these are olive trees these olive trees are actually kind of cool you're supposed to be able to put like some attachment on the front of your tractor drive up to the trees and supposedly shake them to get the olives to fall out or something i don't know uh, we haven't tried it yet but figured we would give it a try all right over here we have a little shed for ash's gator and her mower and things like that and then as well as our house which apparently one light works and one light doesn't man how about that? Need to change the light bulb. But it's our house that has a amazing view of the lake and the little island town going on over there. You can see the church steeple 
just barely off in the distance absolutely beautiful map this is and i'm really excited for it hopefully you guys are too but there are a few things that we haven't uh completely finished so right now it is april which means we need to uh make sure that all the planting is getting done which it is currently but we also uh there's a new mod called fish farming where you can grow fish out of feed fish i don't know how it works but uh, we're going to figure out a place to build that here today. So at first I was thinking we could put it in this grass section right here. But then I quickly discovered that it's absolutely massive and is not going to fit in there. But right next to that grass section, we have a grass field that might work. Currently, we're going to have to get the rest of the bales and the uh, hay out of here. Now, this spot right here is a little bit too, quite a bit too hilly. That won't work. It's got a beautiful view, though, man. But right over here, this gets flattened out really, really well. Unfortunately, there's kind of a tractor and a baler in the way. So, I suppose we're going to have to finish off this baling. If it needs bailed, I might have to check on that. It needs to be made into hay, so, um... No more bailing. So the little voices in my head have told me that this is a no-no bail zone. So we're not going to bail. Apparently, it doesn't need to be grass. It needs to be hay. So we're going to abide by the voices in my head. And uh, we're just going to let it be. However, we are going to need to move these bales. Now, let me, let me consult with the voices in my head and see if they know a way how. So I've just been informed by the voices in my head that if you eat bales grass bales with your tmr mixer it turns them into hay and since we want it to be hay i need to go eat those bales so uh we gotta find the mixer pretty sure it was by the horses which makes little to no sense well, i've got good news and bad news the good news is i found the mixer the bad news is it's got a ridiculous amount of straw in it now uh i don't know what to do with that also i just want to say for the record that i grew up on a horse farm for like 20 some years of my life and never once have i ever heard about anybody putting straw in an outdoor paddock or pasture makes no sense i don't know why this requires it but uh why not? Uh, I'm not going to complain, he said while complaining. Hey, this looks like a nice place to randomly dump straw. Which side did I pick? Oh, okay. That works. There we go. Got a nice line of straw ready for somebody. Not me. I'm not going to deal with it. Okay, so I just had a mini argument with the voices in my head. And they've just informed me that this is in fact hay and it's not grass. So I didn't need to do any of this. Um... We're going to continue bailing, I guess. Okay, so the bale size is 125, I think. But apparently, the voices in my head have informed me that I can go as big as I want. And uh, we're going to go ahead and turn on auto drop since we're not going to be wrapping these. And I... You know, I really don't know how to operate this, so we'll just kind of wing it. Oh, by the way, everyone, uh, I am going to give away my farm sim side panel if when we hit 200k, if we hit it by Labor Day. So if we hit 200,000 subscribers by Labor Day, I will give away my farm sim side panel. I'll sign it and everything, send it right to you. So make sure you click that subscribe button and... Uh, Hopefully we can hit the goal. For the record, it is in perfect condition. And I mean absolute perfect, like out of box condition. So don't worry, it's not broken. I gotta say, I don't think I'm ever gonna get tired of farming right off of a lake. <laughs> I mean, what do you think the property value of this land is? I'm surprised it hasn't been developed. Eventually, whenever the city decides to grow and they want, you know, to build more houses, we're going to make so much money. You know, I got to say, if it got hotter here in the UK, you know, after a long, hot day working in the field, you could just dip right into that lake and it would probably feel amazing. All right. So we just put the equipment away. Now we can finally... Oh, we got to move those bales. All right. Never mind. We have to move some bales. Where's... Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, we have a bale mover. Nice. All right. We're just out and about picking up bales. Unfortunately, they're different sizes. So uh, we're going to have to make multiple trips, but that's all right. And just like that, I think we about got all the bales out here. Just this last one and we're done. All right. So we are returning the mixer. Oh, I don't want to. Do I have to put the straw back in it? Eh, I'm not going to. We're just going to put it back in the... We'll put it back by the horse. Actually, I'll put it by the straw. How's that sound? Yeah. That's a good place for it. All right. Now what? What was I doing? Fish. That's right. All right. So we made it back, but I got to remember where the fish are again. Ah, I found the building. So I'm thinking we'll just kind of line it up with this tree line a little bit right here. 
And, oh, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold on now. Line right up with the tree line. Do I want to put it all the way up there? Yeah, that'll be fine. And place it and hope it doesn't break. Oof. That'll do. We have fish. I almost placed a second one. That would have been bad. So from my understanding, fish take corn, mineral feed, and an empty pallet. And I'm thinking this bit of the head should go bye-bye. I wonder if I can... Hello? How do I get rid of you? Hey, look at that. I made an opening in the hedge. Nice. We now have a fish place. Okay, we got the fish production place planted and I got the grass all painted around it. Now we have run into a couple issues and those issues are, for some reason, this mod, th uh, uh, this mod you need to make the pallets. You don't have to do it for any other production, but with this one, you gotta make the pallets. So now we're gonna have to do some forestry. So we're gonna have to get that sorted out. We're also gonna need mineral feed in order to handle that. I'm gonna just place a uh, silo here. I'm just gonna fill it with mineral feed and that'll be that. So aside from a tiny little stump sitting in the driveway, this is not that bad. You uh, got a little, little, I don't know, employee rest area, let's call it that, whatever. But then you got your fish right up here. You can, you know, walk around in your fish. That's probably a health th healthy thing to do. Uh, yep, totally. Um, the ironic thing of this all is that your, your, your fish factory, which is artificial and you pump water into it and you grow them like in, ca in captivity. Yeah, it's right next to the lake. So that makes sense. Definitely. Got a silo for corn and a little mineral thing for min- Oh, hey, I should fill that up. Huh? Let's see how much that'll cost. 36,000. All right. All right. Park up the Jeep and I think we can move on to our next task. Probably. Well, I really don't know. We're going to find out. Um, 240, 41, 43, and four need rolled. So apparently we haven't been doing that. So I think I'm going to do a little bit of rolling, but I'm not going to finish it. All right. So we're on our way back to the farm with the roller. Um, we could do field 40, but I'm going to be honest. I don't want to. So we're going to go do a different field. Okay. So after a 10 minute drive around the lake, we finally, I think, made it to field four. And this is the one that needs rolled. So let's get her unfolded and get to rolling and as you guys can see the daylight is disappearing on us here today another successful day on the public server you guys want to play on here and the information is in the description down below that's going to be it for this video i hope you all enjoyed and until next time i'll see y'all later peace